एवरीवन दिस इज द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ अवर एग्जाम्पल नंबर वन विच इज द डिजाइन ऑफ इन टाइप ऑफ वाटर टैंक सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस स्टार्ट अवर स्टेप नंबर थ्री एंड द कंपोनेंट डिजाइन नंबर थ्री सो अवर थर्ड कंपोनेंट डिजाइन इज द डिजाइन ऑफ सिलेंड्रिकल पोर्शन सो स्टूडेंट्स इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल we have to find out the preliminary dimensions so in the preliminary dimensions we have to first of all assume the diameter of the cylindrical portion with the help of the diameter of cylindrical portion we have to find out all the other components except the height of cylindrical portion and after that with the help of other dimensions we have to find out the height of cylindrical portion so this is covered in our first lecture of this example in the second example we will start our design of all the components in which our first component is design of top dome so in the design of top dome first of all we have to assume the thickness of top dome after that we have to find out the load in which there are two loads first one is dead load and second one is live load after finding out the load calculation there are two forces which are acting on in type of water tank so the first load is meridional force this force is maximum at support and second force is hook force or it is also called as circumferential force this force is maximum at crown crown means gummat and after that we have to find out minimum ast minimum steel provided so this all the things will be cover in our second lecture of this example in the third lecture it means in the last lecture we will cover our second component design which is the design of top ring beam so the crown force it means the hoop force is coming to the top ring beam in this direction so the tangential component of hoop force is there so we have to find out two components of the that contingential force so the horizontal component is t1 cos theta1 and the vertical component is t1 sin theta1 so you all know that whenever we have to find out the design of top ring beam we have to use t1 cos theta1 because this sign is for tension sign okay so with the help of v t1 cos theta1 we have to find out the design of top ring beam so this design of top ring beam is covered in the last lecture so now let us start our third components design so it is the design of cylindrical portion so students this is the last components design which is the most important in the gtu point of view in 99 percentage in a gtu exam there are mainly three components of in tank of design so the first component is top dome which is already cover second component is top ring beam it is already cover and now the third component is design of cylindrical portion which is covered in today's session okay so this is our cylindrical portion having the height of 5 meter okay so whenever the water water inside the cylindrical portion so generally the water wave inside the tank continuously so whenever your water is wave like that and acting force on the wall and con consider as the tensile force after that the force is like this and acting on this portion so this phenomena is continuity continuously consider 
okay so both the wall is acting the tensile force because your water inside the water tank is acting like this so this force is act as a tensile force so you can see that the side walls are designed for the tension develop due to water pressure this line is already discussed in above okay so the hoop tension in a cylindrical force cylindrical wall so students the total diameter is 12 meter so the half load is acting on the right side of wall and half force is acting acting on the left side of wall so you can see that the tensile force is gamma w gamma w means density of water because the water pressure is acting on the cylindrical wall into h into d by 2 d by 2 means half load is considered to the right side of wall and half load is considered to the left side of wall okay now what is the value of gamma w the value of gamma w is 10 h is unknown generally our value of h is 5 but we have to design the cylindrical portions height per meter length so this h is unknown over here and d by 2 so it is 12 by 2 so our answer is 60 into h kilo newton okay now in any components design there will be two unknowns first one is ast it means the steel and second one is the size okay so first of all we have to find out the steel so the equation of steel sigma st this is sigma st is equal to ft upon ast because the pressure is equal to force upon area so we have to find out ast so this ast is going to this side and sigma st is at the over below the ft okay so 60 into h so this is 16 into h into 10 raised to 3 103 is not over there this is 10 raised to 3 divided by the value of sigma st is 130 because you all know that for m30 and fe415 the value of sigma st which is the permissible stress in the steel is 130 okay so we will get our answer 461.53 into h now we have to find out all the steel per meter length so our height of water tank is 5 meter height of the cylindrical wall is 5 meter so you can see that the depth from top so top is this so 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter and 5 meter now we will put this 1 2 3 4 and 5 in this equation so you will get your answer like this but in the design of cylindrical portion this is the thickness of a cylindrical wall okay in this wall there are two faces one reinforcement is vertically over here and second reinforcement is vertically over here this steel detailing is already in the previous slide so you can see that this is the thickness of wall in which this is one face and this is second face and this both the steel vertical steel is covered with all the circular hoops all the circular steels okay so that circular steel is seen as this dotted okay so this is the value of two faces so what is the value of one face this divided by 2 so this is your answer of the ast required on each face okay after that at the first meter there will be no more pressure so we will provided 10 meter diameter 
After finding out the 10 meter diameter, we have to find out spacing and spacing provided. With the help of spacing provided, we have to find out AST provided. So, this all the things is covered in this row. Okay. After that, at the below portion, as we have to come at the left, the pressure will be increased. So, you can see that our diameter is also increased and at the maximum depth, it means at the 5 meter depth, we have to provide it 16 mm diameter at 165 mm center to center. So, we have to provide it, AST provided is equal to 1218 mm square. Okay. Now, this is the steel calculation. Now, we have to find out the size. So, what is the maximum pressure? So, maximum pressure is generally at the bottom. So, what is the height of bottom? The height of bottom is 5 meter. So, the maximum hoop tension is 60 into 5 which is equal to 300 kilonewton. So, if we have to design the thickness of cylindrical portion for 300 kilonewton, then we have to save for all the values because 300 is the maximum value. Okay. So, you all know that our equation, this equation is already covered in the last lecture which is T divided by AT is equal to sigma CT. Now, what is the value of T? The value of T is 300 into 10 raised to 3 divided by AT. The value of AT is you can see that the equation of AT is like this AG plus M minus 1 into AST provided. So, we have to calculate all the loads per meter length. So, our B, B means 1000 mm. B into T, T means thickness. So, we have to find out the thickness of cylindrical portion which is unknown. The value of M is equal to 9.33 minus 1 and why we have to use this value because we have to provide it the total steel so this is the value of steel for one phase and for 5 meter so you can see that the value of AST for 5 meter is 1218 mm square so you can see that our force is for 5 meter so you have to provide it AST is for 5 meter depth Okay, so after putting all this value, we will get our answer T is equal to 179.70 mm. So, we have to provide it. The thickness of cylindrical portion is 225 mm. So, students, this is the end of the design of cylindrical portion. So, you can see that this is the 1 meter depth. So, in the exam, you have to detail this reinforcement as 10 mm phi at 190 mm center to center like this for 2 meter. So, this reinforcement is to for 2 meter. This is 1 meter, 2 meter, 3, 4 and 5 meter. Okay. So, for this, you have to return as 10 mm diameter at 165 mm center to center. For this, you can see that. 10 mm diameter at 100 mm center to center. For this, 12 mm diameter for 115 mm center to center. And for this, 16 mm diameter at 165 mm center to center. So, this is the design and detail. This is the detailing of reinforcement. Okay. So, this is the end of today's session. Thank you.